TV KPM Good day, peoples. I hope. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having an amazing day with me today. I'm Tivya. Thank you for joining us at DDA TV KPM. Today, we are looking at English language for Form 5 with the topic of volunteering aspirations. I'm sure you're excited to learn and understand a lot more about this topic. Let's get into it and have a look at the teacher's profile. There you have it, people at home. Before we get going and say hi to our beautiful teacher, let's also say hi to our interpreter. Let's welcome interpreter Chegu Azliana Mazuri from SK Pendidikan Khas Jalan Batu B, uh, Kuala Lumpur. All right, and uh, thank you so much for joining us, our lovely interpreter. And uh, let's say hi to our teacher. Hello, teacher. We have teacher Amira Husna. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello, Tivia. Thank you. I'm fine. How do oh, you good. do? Yes. I'm doing very well as well. I hope the people at home are doing very well as well. Looking very beautiful, teacher. Thank you. You too. Thank you so much. All right, the topic that we will be discussing today, which is volunteering aspiration. And yes. you also looked at some um, images in the opening, right? That yeah, also true. came uh, with an understanding standing of about volunteering so please tell us what we have in store for this particular segment all right okay so for today's activity or today's lesson our students are going to do listening so they're going to listen to some audio highlight few keywords related to the audio okay uh, which will, will help them to answer the question correctly okay. because they're going to identify the keywords from questions all and right. the answer options all right without further ado let's also say hi you know welcome our pupils joining us virtually please do the honor sister all right thank you okay so here together with us we have our four students a beautiful beautiful girls with me to here okay so for the first student we have isma honey hello isma hello isma all right next to isma we have kairi nabila hello bella hello bella okay next we have Anne jasmine hello Anne. Hi, Han. Okay, next to Anne, we have Tasnim Ashika. Hello, Tasnim. Hi, Tasnim. <laughs> All right, looking very cute and very uh, beautiful people uh, uh, from uh, home and as well as uh, joining us virtually. So please yes. tell us, bring us on this topic of volunteering aspirations. Okay, so why don't we ask our students, are they ready for the lesson today? Okay, if you're ready, show me your thumbs up. Pupils, ready? Are you ready? Okay, so why don't we start our lesson today? Yes, okay, already. Thank you, Tivia. All right, so the topic for today's lesson is volunteering aspiration. So mm -hmm. this topic is taken from English Download B1+. Okay. So this is actually Form 5 English textbook. So today's lesson comprises the main skill and complementary skill of listening. Okay. So our students are going to do a lot of listening today. All right. Okay, for viewers at home, you may refer to English Download B1+, page 154. All uh, right. So people at home, you can also take note and uh, have a better understanding about listening as uh, teacher Asma uh, uh, Husna. Yeah, teacher right, Husna then. is uh, running us through the uh, syllabus, yes. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to introduce our special word for today. So the word here is volunteering. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me ask you first, Divya. Okay. So when you see the word volunteering, what comes to your mind? Volunteering, the first thing that comes to my mind when uh, I hear volunteer is we 
take our action, our initiative to do something without um, any instruction, without any procedure, without not not mom asking, dad asking, but I want to do. That's yes, volunteering. Definitely yeah. true. We do something or act out according to our instinct, or yeah. we just do voluntary action mm -hmm. for the benefit of others, or maybe for ben benefit of ourselves. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So why don't we ask our students about their idea on volunteering? All right. Okay, let's let, do it. Yes. Can we have a volunteer, please? Okay. The word given here is volunteering. When you see the word volunteering, what comes to your mind? Can Bella. you identify any other words related mm -hmm. to volunteering? Okay, Bella. I think it is food bank. Okay, so food volunteering bank. also related to food bank. Correct. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Okay, why do you choose food bank? Uh, my, my family and I always go to the food bank to donate some food. See the homeless, so they don't starve. Okay, so that's, that's a good nice. idea. Yes, yeah, that's okay. Nice. Good one, Bella. Why don't we award her with one All ice right, cream stick? Let's do it. Let's so we have here the reward boxes for our students. Okay. So once they give out a correct answer mm -hmm. or a or just a relevant information. The, the, they took an effort for their yes. initiative. Yes. We reward them with one ice cream stick. Okay. So by the end of the lesson, we are going to count the ice cream stick and they mm -hmm. are going to redeem the ice cream voucher from me. Wow! Yes, interesting, right? <laughs> okay. So People we have are going to be getting an ice cream voucher from teacher. That's amazing. So okay. Bella gets one. So one ice cream okay. stick for Bella. Well done. Okay. okay. I'm going to see if I also can get an ice cream stick. But <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll talk to teacher later. Okay. So please, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so when do we go with the next students? Okay, for the next volunteer, can I have someone to talk about your idea on volunteering? Who's ready? Yes, it's Ma. My answer is support. 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 So what do you mean by support? Mm -hmm. okay, volunteering means giving support. My so can you? And I, mm -hmm. Oh, my support, my support. My family and I sometimes go to the other sea home to give support to the folk folks there. Okay. Uh, okay. Doing some interesting activities and spend time with them. Okay, that's interesting. That's so nice. they went to folk, old folks' home mm -hmm. uh, or nursery home just to spend time with them, have a mm -hmm. chit chat with them, and maybe do some beneficial activities. That's yep. a good one. Yep. yep. So do do you think she deserves an ice cream stick? Of course, I'm yes. giving Isma one. All right. Is this okay. For Isma? So okay. one ice cream stick for Isma. Okay. Well done. Okay. Well why don't done, we go Isma? with the next one? Yes, Anne. Can you please share your idea on volunteering? Um, as for me, volunteering means a person who freely offer to do something, especially helping other people, willingly and without being forced or paid to do. Okay, so volunteering means uh, willingly helping other people without being forced or told to. That's mm -hmm. a good one. So why don't we give her one stick? Of course. So well done, Anne. Anne. Thank you for your idea. Anne gets one. Okay, last but not least, can All we right. ask our last girl, Tas name? Tas name. Okay, what do you think about volunteering? For me, volunteering is contributing. Okay, contributing. contributing. That's interesting. So what do you mean by contributing? What can you contribute? As we all know, right now it is rainy season, which can cause floods. Mm -hmm. My parents were planning on contributing 2,000 ringgit for the flood victim. Oh, oh that's, that's a very relatable yes. explanation. That is very generous yes. and relatable to situation. Well done. Thank you, Tasneem. So volunteering is uh, she will ask her parents to maybe donate some money mm -hmm. for the voluntary cost. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. So does she deserve an ice cream stick? Of course, please. You tell yes. teacher. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Tavia. All so right. good one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now that our students has shared, had shared their ideas on volunteering, why don't we go to the next slides? Okay, for the next slides, here I have a word search puzzle. Okay. So we are going to ask our pupils to identify the words related to volunteering. Okay, can I have a volunteer? Okay, can you please take a good look on the word okay. search? Okay, uh, pupils, anyone wants to volunteer? Okay, Bella, yes. Okay, can you please identify the first word related to volunteering? Where is it? Where is it located? I saw charity. Charity, which line is it? Charity. Charity. Can you charity. please help me with the line? Okay, so charity. Uh, okay, ah, fifth line. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this one. Yes. Okay. So on the fifth line, we have charity. Well done. All Thank right. you, Bella. 
I think due to time constraint, we only can take one uh, pupil yes, for now. Yes, no problem. From, I, I see one. I see homeless. Yes. I also Where see donation. Okay, the second line. So here is homeless. That's a donation. And then donation. And that's shelter on top. Okay. And then shelter. Mm hmm Pupils at home, I'm sure you also, uh, looking at the um, puzzle right here, you can also find out the the words that uh, we are seeing. There's also volunteer at the bottom. Yes, down here, volunteers. Fundraising, yes. Steve, I think I should award you yes, the please. ice cream stick yes, as well yes. because you're helping me <laughs> a lot. I'm getting an ice cream <laughs> voucher. <laughs> but we can discuss it later. <laughs> right, okay. With that, uh, people at home, uh, sit tight, okay, because we are going to be uh, learning and understanding a lot more about a volunteering aspiration together with a uh, teacher here. So we'll be back. Take a very short commercial break. We'll be back very shortly. volunteer often uh, if you do people's at home I'm sure this uh, particular subject topic that we are discussing is very relatable for you but it's also relatable for everyone with that welcome back you're watching the TV KPM I'm Tivia and together we have teacher who's now today teaching us a lot about volunteering aspirations and especially listening in that particular like, particularly right so teacher please tell us in this segment I'm sure you have a lot more exciting activities because yes, sure the students are the pupils actually competing for the ice cream voucher <laughs> okay. so am I <laughs> All right. so please tell us so why don't we proceed with the next slide yes okay so for this uh, for the next activity now that our students already familiarize themselves with uh, the term of volunteering we're going to ask them what are the suitable tasks for group volunteers or individual volunteers okay so here we are going to define what is a group volunteering mm -hmm. and what is an individual volunteering mm -hmm. which so is a, more suitable for group yes. and which is more suitable true. for individual very true okay. a group volunteering is suitable or engage a, a larger number of people especially mm -hmm. family members friends or maybe community as a whole while individual volunteering usually involve a single person yep. acting alone voluntarily mm -hmm. okay, okay. All right, so for this activity, mm -hmm. below are some voluntary activities that people can do to help their community. Which do you think would be most suitable for groups of volunteers to do and which for individuals? Okay. So here, our students are going to pop up their letter G if mm -hmm. they think that this activity is suitable for group okay. volunteers. And they're going to pop up a letter I if they think that this activity is suitable for individual volunteers. Okay. All right. Okay, everyone, can you please show me your letter I and G? Are you ready with that? Pupils, are you ready? If you're ready, show me your letter I and G. Okay, it seems like they have it with them. Okay. okay. All, right. All right, so why don't we start with the first one? Okay, the first activity, painting a youth centre. Okay, so for ac the first activity of painting a youth centre, do you think this is a suitable task for group volunteers or for individual volunteers? Show me your letter I or letter G. Pupils, is it I or G? Mm, one, two, three. Three G. What about you, Tasnim? I think Tasnim is having some technical difficulties. Okay. Yeah, I think she she hears us. Yes. All right, so is we have three G here. Okay. What do you think, Tivia? Is it suitable Painting for group volunteers? Painting a youth centre. Uh, from my perspective, I would say it's a group volunteering activity yes. as well because Painting. you need a lot of mm -hmm. manpower, a lot True. of people to help to paint a youth centre. Yes, uh. a youth centre is a large area too, so yes. we definitely need a larger number of people to help out. So yes, why do we see? Okay, G. yes. Okay. So can we award our students with ice cream sticks? Of course. So we'll so three. Okay, give thank each of you. them. Okay, oh. what about the second one? Okay, for the second task, visiting an old person in his or her home. So do you think this task is suitable for a group of volunteers to do or for individual volunteers? Show me your eye and... Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allah Allahu Akbar. A 
أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة G. Pupils, is it I or G? Mm, one I, two I, three I. Three I. So mm -hmm. why don't we see whether this is suitable for individual or not? Mm, okay, so mm -hmm. definitely Individual. for individuals. Well done. Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't we go to the next one? Delivering a disabled person's mm -hmm. shopping. So Delivering is it an I? A disabled or a G? person's shopping, okay. Okay, one I. Two we I, three I. I. What about you, Tasnim? Four I. So okay. let's check our answer. Okay, so definitely it is for an I. individual volunteer. Okay. okay. Okay, let's go to the next one. Clearing rubbish from a community garden. Mm -hmm. Okay, why do we ask our students or our of pupils? Course. Okay, can you please show me your letter G or letter I? I or G? I or G? Okay, one G, two G. Their confidence is G. Yes, four G, <laughs> definitely majority. Yes. So let's see. Definitely a G. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. What about the fifth one? Organizing a, a food, food bank. bank. So do we need a larger number of people or just a single person to organize a food bank? Show me your letter I or G. Peoples. One G, two G, three G. Four G. Four G. <laughs> what about you, Tivia? Okay, uh, organizing a food bank, I'm sure it requires a lot of manpower, okay. manpower as well because mm -hmm. we need to provide them with the different, uh, you know, yes. uh, food for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So it's a bank, right? So it requires a lot of people. I think that makes sense. So mm -hmm. maybe, yes, we have to agree that organizing a food bank requires group volunteers. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the last one? Helping in a charity, charity shop. shop. So do you think this is a task? Suitable for group of volunteers to do or for individual volunteers? Show me your I or G. I, 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 I. I. Okay, so we have four I. Why don't we check the answer together? Definitely an I. I. Okay. okay. Should we reward, reward yes. that? Yes. How do you think they do? Do they deserve? The ice cream sticks? Yes, the moment <laughs> teacher asks G or I, they immediately say whether it's G or I. They are right? very responsive, right? Yep, very okay, responsive. So why don't we give them the ice cream sticks? Okay. Well done, everyone. Good job. Good job. I'm going to give different colors for Yes. Each. Looks fancy. Yeah. <laughs> 
So we are getting ice cream voucher. Remember that, people. So okay. okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So All right. I think we are done with this one. Mm -hmm. All right. Pretty much speaking about volunteering, right? Because I'm sure, uh, although okay, can we go to the previous uh, slide? Yes, sure. Although it's you know group or individual, I'm sure um, we have you know it, it it is not particularly hundred percent group, hundred percent individual. Let's say painting a youth center, yes. not necessarily in, an individual really cannot true. do right, and I'm sure they can do, but it is more suitable for. Group, yes, yeah, true. like like this, you know, um, what's that? Visiting an old person mm -hmm. in his or her home, right? Okay. And I'm sure you can visit as a group as well, because I remember when I was uh, in my school time and all, we used to visit old folks home together, nursing yes. homes together. That's a good experience, right? Mm -hmm. I also yep. have my experience of uh, joining a voluntary program at Masjid Jami. It is called Feeding the Homeless. Mm -hmm. So it was really such an eye-opener for me. So I can see a different part of the world. Yep. So that's really a new experience for me too. Mm -hmm. And I think that there is no right or wrong Correct. for us to work either, either in groups or individual because they will just work the same. Okay. Probably can ask uh, pupils, you know, in regards to group uh, volunteering, or individual volunteering, something from their own experiences? Yes, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't we ask our students? Can I ask from Anne? Anne. Anne. So, do you have any experience of joining a group volunteering program? Please share with us. Uh, yes, uh, last year during the pandemic, I actually joined. Um, I volunteered in an event called um, Okay, an event. You know, it doesn't matter if you can if you can remember. Yeah. All right. So it's an event. You volunteered at an event, and tell us what happened. I think uh, I remember I, the one. Um, picking the phone up for people who want to who wanted to sign up for vaccination. All right. Oh. Okay. So I, you so you were part of them who looking for people to sign up for vaccination. That's a good one. Yeah. It's also a volunteering program. Yep. And I'm sure speaking about vaccination, a lot of youngsters, a lot of youth volunteer during this vaccination period. Yes. Right? True. And if you mm -hmm. if you all go to vaccination centers, there were a lot of volunteers, right? Mm -mm, yeah, mm -hmm. true. It's a good exposure actually for our youth nowadays. Mm -hmm. So that they will know that uh, they can do voluntary work or just get involved maybe to get new friendship mm -hmm. or maybe bond with new people so that's how they can just uh, explore the new world aside from their circle mm -hmm. but apart from all right my favorite volunteering activity is definitely uh, cleaning the house apartment <laughs> you know when you gather together with your neighbors yes. with your friends because most of my best friends stay around oh, my place so yes cleaning together the, the my apartment together with my friends is my favorite uh, volunteering activity so people yeah. at home while you think what is your favorite volunteering activity we are going to be going for a very short commercial break and we'll be back to understand more about this task a little bit better right we'll be back TV KPM. I'm Tivia. Thank you so much for joining us. Form 5 English language on the topic of volunteering aspirations. And I'm sure you thought about your experience of volunteering, right? Share it with your friends, share it with your parents as well. Let's welcome back our teacher. Hello, teacher Mira. Hello. Hey, Tivia. Welcome back. So, last segment was very interesting speaking about volunteering. Mm -hmm. So, what do, you, what do you have in store for this segment? Okay, so for the next listening activity, we are going to listen to an audio. Okay, okay. that's an interesting activity. People yes. at home, please listen carefully as well. It is, it's, it's an audio that we are going to be playing. 
Okay, okay. before we, we listen to audio, here I have some tips for our students at home okay. and here. So sometimes you can choose the wrong answer by not checking the details in the question. Read the question carefully before you hear the recording mm -hmm. and make sure you know exactly what to listen for. Mm -hmm. So this is a guideline for our students to review the questions before listening. So it's okay. a pre-listening task. Okay. So before listening to an audio, they need to listen to, sorry, they need to read the question first hand right. and then underline the glaring words or maybe highlight the keywords okay. noted in the question All right. okay so I'm going to show the first example mm -hmm. okay so this is the instruction so our students or our peoples will hear a short radio announcement and some questions before the announcement you will have time to read the questions okay so this is a guideline to read the questions listen to the radio announcement and choose the best answer from the answer choices a b c or d all right okay so for the first question what sort of things do good gym members do as a group? Okay, so I think the highlighted keywords that can be found from the question is what sort of things do good gym members do as a group? I will highlight or underline this one as a group. So this is a new one. So this mm -hmm. is the details needed for the question in order to get the answer. Okay. Okay, so why don't we try to listen to the audio first All to right. get the answer? Let's, Let's do hear this. the audio. Unit 12. Listening. Exercise 3. Do you ever feel that it's about time you did some voluntary work for your community? Sometimes it can be difficult to know where to start, can't it? Well, if you like the idea of doing something to help and you enjoy keeping fit, I might have just the solution for you. An organization called Good Gym helps community groups, elderly people, and disabled people, but it also helps its volunteers to keep themselves fit because they run to all their projects. Good Gym has two main types of projects, group work, where volunteers run together to do a task, and individual tasks, where volunteers run somewhere on their own to do something useful. The group projects often involve work on a community garden or youth center. Some tasks might involve clearing rubbish from an area, for example, whereas others involve perhaps painting walls or railings. Okay. okay. All right. So I think it is clearly mentioned from the audio, as mm -hmm. you can listen as well, that as a group, the good gym members clear the rubbish or paint the community space. Yep. So my answer would be A. A. All right. So do you agree with me? Of course. <laughs> okay. Why don't we check our answer together okay. with transcription? All right. So let's hear for the second ah, time. Ah, okay. So let's... Unit 12. Listening. Exercise 3. Do you ever feel that it's about time you did some voluntary work for your community? Sometimes it can be difficult to know where to start, can't it? Well, if you like the idea of doing something to help and you enjoy keeping fit, I might have just the solution for you. An organization called Good Gym helps community groups, elderly people and disabled people, but it also helps its volunteers to keep themselves fit because they run to all their projects. Good Gym has two main types of projects, group work, where volunteers run together to do a task, and individual tasks, where volunteers run somewhere on their own to do something useful. The group projects often involve work on a community garden or youth centre. Some tasks might involve clearing rubbish from an area, for example, whereas others involve perhaps painting walls or railings. Okay, All so right. it is mentioned in the text of transcription that the group projects often involve work on a community garden or youth centre. Mm -hmm. Some tasks might involve clearing rubbish from an area, whereas others involve perhaps painting walls or railings. Okay. So let's check our answers. So I answered A just now. Let's see whether my answer is correct. Do I deserve an extra stick? <laughs> okay, so the answer is A. Correct. Yes, so it is clearly mentioned mm -hmm. from the audio. So you can check out the keywords 
based on the questions given and then you listen to the same keyword or the similar keywords again from the audio to identify your correct answer. So it is definitely keywords yes. and not the exact words sometimes. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. the tricky part, right? Yeah. About examining the listening. So yes. as you as the moment you find the keyword and you know that's the right one. True. Right, all right. Thank okay, you. Okay, now for the next question, why don't we let our students yes. to do their Pupils, tasks? Are everyone ready? Yes. Okay. They're ready. All right. For second question, can I have a volunteer to help me to answer this one? Yes, that's name. Okay, that's name. Can you please read up the question first and identify the keyword? How do elderly or disabled people benefit from food gym? Okay, so where is the keyword here? The keyword is elderly or disabled people. Okay, so the detail or the important detail is elderly. Focus on the elderly or disabled people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why don't we listen to the audio first? Are you ready, that's name? Okay, let's hear the audio. Volunteers usually start at a cafe, run to the project location, do the job, run back and finish off with a cup of tea and a piece of cake. It's a great way to make friends, have fun, get fit and do something useful. Good Gym also arranges good deeds for individuals to do. They run to the home of an elderly or disabled person who's unable to leave their house perhaps. They stay and chat for a while and then run home, and they do this regularly, so they develop a friendship with the person. Other tasks are one-off, such as changing a light bulb or delivering someone's shopping. Okay. okay. All right, so first name, where is the answer for question two? Which one is the answer? First name. The answer is C. The answer is C. They receive friendly visits from a runner. Okay, so why don't we check your answer? Okay, so here is the transcription. Can you please identify the keywords or the similar keywords that you use in order to find your answer? Where is it? I think it, it's, it I was see. somewhere, somewhere, yeah. yeah, towards the ending of the paragraph or towards the ending of the audio. So where is it? They run to the home of an elderly or disabled person on the fifth line. Okay, on the fifth line, so one, two, three, four, five, so mm -hmm. here. So here we can find the similar keywords, elderly or disabled. Okay. So this is the same exact one from the question. Mm -hmm. What about the answer? So it's somewhere around here, so we can see that they stay and chat for a while and then run home and then they do this regularly, so they develop a friendship. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in order to confirm, why don't we listen to the second time of the audio? All right, let's listen to the audio again. Volunteers usually start at a cafe, run to the project location, do the job, run back and finish off with a cup of tea and a piece of cake. It's a great way to make friends, have fun, get fit and do something useful. Good Gym also arranges good deeds for individuals to do. They run to the home of an elderly or disabled person who's unable to leave their house perhaps. They stay and chat for a while and then run home, and they do this regularly, so they develop a friendship with the person. Other tasks are one-off, such as changing a light bulb or delivering someone's shopping. Okay, so we have our keywords already. Why don't we mm -hmm. double-check our answers? Yes. Okay, let's see. So how do elderly or disabled people benefit from good gym, first name, answer, C. Yes. So they develop a friendship, hence they receive friendly visits from a runner. So let's check. Let's check if we get Well done, Tasneem. Tasneem, yes. So, so the one the ice cream stick ice for you. Stick. Good job. Ah, okay, let's proceed stick. to question number three. Okay, for the third question, can I have a volunteer? Yes, Bella. Okay, Bella, can you please read up the question for me? What did good gym members do on their last community event? Okay, so what is the keyword that you can find from the question? The keyword is on their last community event. On their last community event. Mm -hmm. So it means that... We need to look for the keyword. Yes. Yeah. So last community event means that this or maybe this event happened recently. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why don't we listen to the audio first to All get right. the answer. On the most recent group event, members ran to a community garden. Local people had created the garden 
and had planted lots of flowers and trees. But they needed some help keeping the area clear of rubbish, so that's where good gym members were able to lend a hand. Okay, so I can identify the word garden, mm -hmm. but the problem is everything is all about garden here. Okay. okay. What about you, Bella? Can you identify the answer? What do you think, Bella? Uh, it, uh, the first line on the most recent group event. Okay, so you can hear from the audio on the first line or the first, the very first part is on the most recent. So it's related to the question here. Okay. Last community event. So which one is your answer? Bella, which one is your answer? My answer is B. Remove D. rubbish. Remove from the garden. rubbish from the garden. So this is your answer. Why don't we check your answer together? Okay, let's hear the audio again. Okay. Let's uh, listen to the audio again. On the most recent group event, members ran to a community garden. The local people had created the garden and had planted lots of flowers and trees. But they needed some help keeping the area clear of rubbish. So that's where good gym members were able to lend a hand. Okay, so you mentioned your answer just now. So which, which is the keyword that helped you to find your answer, Bella? Can you identify it, the similar keywords? At the third, third line, they needed some help keeping ah. the area clear of rubbish. Okay, so just now... The first keyword of your question is last community event. So it definitely means on the most recent group event. Mm -hmm. So that's the first keyword. And then we have the second one. They needed some help keeping the area clear of rubbish. So definitely the, the, the local people had created the garden, but they just need the good gym members to help them keeping the area clear of rubbish. Mm -hmm. So let's double check your answer. Is it correct? Well ah, done. Well definitely done, true. Bella. Okay. So they, so are, they were asking for help from Guji members to remove rubbish from the garden. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bella. So one ice cream stick for you. Yes. Which one is Bella? Ah, right. So I'll give the colour Bella doesn't have. Yes. All right. So why do we proceed with the next question? Okay, for the fourth question, can I have a volunteer? Yes, Isma. Can you please help <laughs> me to read the question? Isma is excited. <laughs> What do all good gym runners have to do? Okay, so what do all good gym runners have to do? Where is the keyword here? All good gym runners. Ah, so not just specific good gym runners, they meant all. All, everyone. Okay, all good gym runners. So what do they have to do? Why don't we listen to the audio first? All right, let's listen to the audio. Anyone can join good gym. All you have to do is attend one of the group runs and fill in a form. The organisers will arrange a police check, which must be passed for safety reasons, and ask you if you'd like to make a donation, although this isn't compulsory. Then you can participate in whichever group runs or individual visits you like, whenever you feel like it. Okay, okay. so Isma, which one is your answer? I think the answer is A. Mm-hmm. Okay, so from what I heard just now, I think we can eliminate the answer C mm -hmm. and then D. But I heard something about passing a police check, mm -hmm. yes, and making a donation. Mm -hmm. But which one is the most precise answer? Okay, why don't we check again by listening to the audio again? Okay. Anyone can join Good Gem. All you have to do is attend one of the group runs and fill in a form. The organisers will arrange a police check, which must be passed for safety reasons, and ask you if you'd like to make a donation, although this isn't compulsory. Then you can participate in whichever group runs or individual visits you like, whenever you feel like it. Okay, Isma, can you please help me with the keywords here? <laughs> so where is the similar keywords? At the third sentence. Okay, the third line here. So we have 
the organizers will arrange a police check which must be passed for safety reasons mm -hmm. yes so it is mentioned and ask you if you would like to make a donation mm -hmm. okay so making a donation is not compulsory, compulsory it's yes. optional, optional definitely so let's check your answer so it's not for everyone yeah but everyone need to definitely pass, pass a, a police, police check, check. well right. done Isma well good done, one Isma. so one ice cream stick for you Okay. The yellow one. Okay. So why don't we go to the last one, the okay. last question? Okay. For the last question, can I have our last girl? Where is it? Okay. Yes, Anne. Anne, are you ready? Can you please read out the question for me? Why is the speaker making the announcement? All right. So why is the speaker making the announcement? So where is the keyword from this question? Why? Why? So, this, uh, I, this question hmm. actually asking about the purpose okay. or aim of making okay. the announcement. All right. All right. So, why don't we listen to the audio first? Okay. Why not give Good Gym a try? Not only could you help local people and organizations, but you could also help yourself by keeping fit. And we all need to do that, don't we? Check out the website at www.goodgym.org. All right, so and Jasmine, where is the answer for this one? I think the answer is B. Okay, B, to encourage people to help their community. But I think I heard something about the importance of keeping fit. fit. So A could be the answer as well. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Divya? I think we listen to the audio again. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> to understand true. better whether In order this is to right confirm the answer, why don't we listen yes. to the second audio? Okay. Why not give Good Gym a try? Not only could you help local people and organizations, but you could also help yourself by keeping fit. And we all need to do that, don't we? Check out the website at www.goodgym.org. And can you please help me with the keywords here? Where can I find the similar keywords? Um, it starts on the first line. Okay, so from the first line, why not give Good Gym a try? Not only could you help local people and organization, but you could also help yourself. So they are asking the listeners to try to be a member of Good Gym. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they can definitely help the people and the organization and, and themselves as themselves, well. Yes. So that means the whole community. Mm -hmm. All right, so why don't we check the answer? Is it true? Well done, Anne. Definitely a good one. All so right. I think you deserve an ice cream well stick. Well done, Anne. All right, so Anne is this. Yes. Okay. okay. So I'm going to give green ice cream stick for Anne. Okay. Okay, why don't we. I look at some time to look at our ice cream stick. Okay. So, how many sticks do they earn just now? Okay, so should I count? Yes, let's start with Isma first. Okay, Isma has four sticks. Four sticks for yes. Isma. Well done. Tasneem also has four sticks. Good job, Tasneem. Four sticks as well. And Anne also has four sticks. Wow, good job, Anne. And lastly, Bella also has four sticks. They are equal right now, so the oh. competition for the ice cream bouch is very tight. Yes, <laughs> it's a tie. Okay. All right. With that, people at home, I'm sure you are also excited to learn about this uh, listening that we are doing because uh, not only listening is important, but understanding, you know, understanding and com uh, comprehension of the message is also very important. Thank you, teacher, yes. for, for that. So we'll take a very short uh, break and don't go anywhere. Hold tight and we'll be back. KPM. We are 
at the final segment today, people at home learning about English language on the topic of volunteering aspirations for Form 5 together with teacher Amira. Hello teacher, welcome back. Hi. Pupils virtually joining us, welcome back as well. So please tell us, I'm sure it's an important final segment because they need to be precise about collecting their ice cream stick. Yes. And uh, more about understanding and learning about listening as well. So please tell us what we have. All right. Thank you, Tavia. Okay. So for this segment, we are going to have a match the phrase activity. Okay. It's a fun activity. I yes. Would say. Definitely yes. interesting. So we are going to ask our students to match. Mm -hmm few phrases with its correct definition okay okay so for this activity they are going to use the traffic light card which mm -hmm. is the red card or the green card okay can you see the cards yes can you please show me your card are you ready with that yeah they definitely have the papers or the card yeah wow, very okay. nice okay all right so for this activity uh, i'm going to show a few phrases okay. and the students are going to listen to few definitions mm -hmm. okay they're going to identify whether the definition is correct or not if they think that the definition is wrong they're going to put up their red card mm -hmm. but if they think that the definition is correct they're going to put up the green card okay but right. i will need your help with Okay, all, all ready to help, teacher. What yes. do you need? Yes, so you're going to help me to read up the definition because our students are going to listen. All right, perfect. Okay. All I'm right, you ready. ready? I'm ready. If everybody's ready, show me your thumbs up. Yes, interesting. Okay, so why don't we start with our phrases? Okay, so we have a few phrases here. The first one is social welfare. Mm -hmm. Okay, social welfare. Okay. Tivia, can you please help me to read the first definition? Okay, so I'm going to be reading the first definition. Mm -hmm. Any definition or? Yes, any definition. Right. And our students are going to lend their ears to listen attentively to your definition. Okay, so I'll, I'll read. Um, first definition, a place where free food is served to homeless or very poor people. Okay, so can you listen clearly? All right, so... Should I repeat? Is that the correct definition for social welfare? If you think it's the correct one, please put up your green card. If you think that's a false one, please put up a red card. So one red card here, two red card, three, four. Ah. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Divya? Is mm. it correct or not? Not correct. Okay, so why do we go with the next definition? Okay, so the next definition is, okay. Services provided by the government or private organization to help the individuals or families in need. So is it a right definition for social welfare? Is it clear for you or do you need another? Should reading? I repeat myself? Pupils, okay, should I repeat myself? If All you right. think, okay, if you think you need to listen again, please put your hands up. Okay, I think probably I'll, I'll repeat oh, it. Oh, yeah. Easier, okay. Yes. Services provided by the government or private organizations to help the individuals or families in need. So do you think that is the correct definition for social welfare? If you think it's the correct one, please put up your green card. But if you think it's a false one, please put up your red card. Show me your red or green card. Red or, red or green? Red they are or not green. sure of that. <laughs> Come on, put out your green card or red card. Is it true? Just uh, right or wrong doesn't matter. Okay, so everyone okay, one, has... One, two, three, four. Four green cards. <laughs> so do you think that's the correct definition for social welfare? I think so. Okay, so mm -hmm. why don't we award our students with their ice cream stick? Alright, so it's the correct answer. So we have four green cards. All of them deserve one. Yes. Okay. Well done. Good job. Okay. Okay, so social welfare done. Okay, why don't we go to the next phrase? Okay. Soup kitchen. Soup kitchen. Okay. All right. All right. So, Tivia, can you please read the first definition? Okay. Stocks of non perishable items and food are supplied and distributed freely to people in need. Okay. So, do you think that's the correct definition? If you think it is correct, put up your green card. If not, your red card should be put up. Do you need to listen again? <laughs> if you need to listen again, okay, please okay. raise up your hand. Okay. Okay, okay. yes. Stocks of non-perishable items and food that are supplied and distributed freely to people in need. So, is it a green card or red card? Pupils? They are not sure of the answer. 
It's okay. Just show me your answer. Yeah. You're going to decide. Doesn't matter. Okay. Is it a green card or red card? <laughs> Do not put Isma, both. Is ma? Is ma? You only need to show one card. Is ma? Okay, so four red cards. Hmm, interesting. So, what do you think? Is that the correct definition? Hmm, maybe I'm not. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe not. Soup kitchen. Okay, why don't we go to the next definition? Okay, so the next is a place where free food is served to homeless or very poor people. So, how short about definition. that? Yes. How about that? A is place, that a correct one? A place where food is served. To homeless or very poor people. Okay, three green card. Wow. What about you, Bella? Four are, green card. They're very confident. Soup kitchen. So yes, soup kitchen is definitely a place where free food is served, especially for homeless people. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so why don't we award them with one ice cream yes, stick? Yes, please. Well done, everyone. That's a good one. They're getting excited. <laughs> it's... Isma, but you cannot do all uh, <laughs> both <laughs> red and green. You must only pick one. Okay, okay so why don't we go Final to one. our next phrase? Yes, food bank. Okay. Okay, what about this one? Can you read the first definition? All right, stocks of non perishable items and food are supplied and distributed freely to people in need. Red or green? Okay, put up your red or green card. Green, one, two, three, four. Ah, confident already. Okay. Are you sure with your answer? <laughs> do you need to listen again? No? So for a green card, what do you think, Divya? I think it's correct. Yes, definitely that is the correct okay. answer. One ice cream stick for each of them. Well done. Yes. Good job, everyone. All right. So this pretty much, you know, explains about uh, a lot of aspects about volunteering. If you yes. ask me, together, with teacher Amira. Thank you, teacher. So, uh, can we have a quick summary of what we learned today to sure. the people at home as well? Okay. So I think for the lesson today, our students manage to actually listen carefully to the details of a recording. Uh, we also promote the culture of lending a helping hand and they manage to inculcate the noble act of volunteering. So I hope after this lesson, our students will act out to volunteer more and maybe just participate in any volunteer activity or program for the beneficial of our community. Right. People at home, you can also take an initiative to do, do this volunteering service so you'll be able to understand the aspect better as well, like what teacher Mira mentioned. So teacher, I'm sure we want to see the overall performance feedback of yes. the students, also of me, if I could get an ice cream <laughs> voucher. Definitely. You know? okay. So please tell, tell us. Okay, so, so I think we can see from the number of sticks over there, mm -hmm. okay, and we can see that there are a variety of colors. Yes. That shows that our students actively participated in our activity today. They managed Correct. to maybe... It's equal. Yes, it's equal. Yes, everyone has got seven, uh, seven ice cream sticks. So that's a good one. Maybe yes. they can redeem seven ice cream vouchers from me. <gasps> seven ice cream vouchers. All right. Virtual round of applause for the pupils. Thank you. Well done, everyone. All right. If pupils at home of anyone wants to, you know, have a look at the materials, the, the uh, subject that we went through today, you know, to have a better understanding, where can they find it? Okay. For pupils and viewers at home, you may refer to all the materials from this lesson today at the Lima Portal KPN. All right. With that, there you have it. Thank you so much for joining, Teacher Mira. Thank you, Tivia. Uh, you know, guiding us through the entire lesson regards to volunteering and also regards to listening activity, a yes. very important activity, I would say, for Form 5 students. All right, and let's also thank our lovely interpreter. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Cikgu Azliana Mazuri from SK Pendidikan Khas Jalan Batu B Kuala Lumpur. With that, pupils at home, I'm sure um, you are, you know, you have a clear picture right now in regards to learning and uh, listening and as well as uh, volunteering especially so please share this with your uh, you know neighbors or your uh, friends family you know parents have a, a little bit more of a better understanding about this topic as you share to more people right with that thank you so much I'm Tivia you're watching D-Day TV KPM bye teacher bye. see you thank you